px is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus and so on plus an times x raised to the power n. Taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x, we get p dash x is equal to a1 plus 2a2x plus 3a3x square plus and so on plus n times a n times x raised to the power n minus 1. Now put x is equal to 1, we get p dash 1 is equal to a1 plus 2a2 plus 3a3 plus and so on plus n times a n. Take the modulus of both sides and let's call this result 1. Now we are also given that modulus of px is less than equal to modulus of e raised to the power x minus 1 minus 1. Replacing x with 1, we get modulus of p1 is less than equal to modulus of e raised to the power 1 minus 1 minus 1, which is equal to modulus of e raised to the power 0 minus 1, which is equal to 0. Therefore, modulus of p1 is less than equal to 0, but we know that the modulus of any number is always greater than or equal to 0. Both of these inequalities are satisfied only when modulus of p1 is equal to 0, which implies that p1 is equal to 0. Let's call this result 2. Now modulus of p-1 is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 from the positive side modulus of p of 1 plus h minus p1 divided by h. Now we are given that modulus of px is less than or equal to modulus of e raised to the power x minus 1 minus 1 replacing x with 1 plus h, this becomes modulus of p of 1 plus h is less than or equal to modulus of e raised to the power 1 plus h minus 1 minus 1. The right hand side simplifies to modulus of e raised to the power h minus 1. Using this in the above expression for modulus of p dash 1, we get modulus of p dash 1 is less than or equal to the limit as h tends to 0 from the positive side modulus of e raised to the power h minus 1 minus p1 which is equal to 0 divided by h. The right hand side is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 from the positive side modulus of e raised to the power h which can be expanded as 1 plus h plus h square upon 2 factorial plus h cube upon 3 factorial plus and so on minus 1 divided by h. 1 cancels in the numerator and h cancels across the numerator and the denominator and so this is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 from the positive side modulus of 1 plus h upon 2 factorial plus h square upon 3 factorial plus and so on. All terms involving h tend to 0 as h tends to 0 and therefore the value of this limit is equal to 1. Therefore we have the result modulus of p dash 1 is less than or equal to 1. Now note that px is a polynomial function which implies that px is differentiable and therefore modulus of p-1 exists. Now from result 1 we already know that modulus of p-1 is equal to modulus of a1 plus 2a2 plus 3a3 plus and so on plus n times an. 
but we've also established that modulus of p dash 1 is less than equal to 1. Therefore, we have the result modulus of a1 plus 2a2 plus 3a3 plus and so on plus n times a n is less than equal to 1, which is the required result.